In this video, we're gonna talk about snap lock metal roofing. Stick around, we'll show you how it works. All right guys, my name's Aaron, we're here in our shop, and in my hands, I've got a piece of snap lock metal roofing. So the point of tonight's video is just to introduce you to this piece of metal, this profile, and help you better understand it so you might be able to see how it might fit into your next roofing project. Now, the interesting thing about snap lock is it's probably the most popular type of standing seam on the market. It's used widely in residential and commercial applications. So this particular panel is an inch and three quarter snap lock because of the inch and three quarter height of this leg here. But I think the second reason why it's so popular, not just because it's widely used, but I think it's so popular because when a consumer is looking at a product, I think they have the tendency to look at the price point below that product and at the price point above that product so that they can kind of round out the idea or the feeling of what they're buying. So if you're looking at a corrugated metal or a screw down metal, you wanna know what's above that to kind of put yourself into a reference. And that's where people land on snap lock. Snap lock tends to be the next place that a person looking at a metal roof would land if they didn't like a screw down metal or a barn metal or a corrugated sheet. Usually your next step forward is gonna be a snap lock. So this is kind of what we see. That's why it's a good idea to know about it. All right guys, so just a couple of, just to, just to know about this panel, the snap lock is a 24 gauge piece of metal with Kynar paint. So most of your snap locks are gonna have the upgraded paint and they're gonna have, they're gonna be a thicker, either 26 or 24, this happens to be a 26. And the snap lock makes the seam by this side of the leg, the female leg of the panel, snapping on to the male leg. So it's a, it's a really easy way to create a seam that doesn't leak. So that's why the name of, that's why it's called the snap lock. The panel basically snaps together. Now it's not gonna have any exposed fasteners. So the way that this panel is gonna work is it's gonna install with a clip. So you're gonna, you're gonna hook the clip onto the side of the panel and you can see in this clip, there's screw holes, perforated holes. That's where the screws are gonna run. And then basically the other side, the next panel is going to snap on to where the screws would be on this, it's gonna snap right onto the other sheet. So when it snaps on, it's gonna make a watertight seam and the screws are gonna be hidden underneath of the other panel that you snap on. So as you install the roof, you're gonna add more clips and you're gonna snap on more panels, but you can see that there's no exposed screws. So when you move from a corrugated up to the snap lock, it's a, it's a big increase in quality because you get rid of the exposed fasteners. You don't have any screws to leak. So that's another, that's a, that's a really big, nice selling point of a snap lock panel. No exposed screws and, and, and no leaks in the future on those screws. So the snap lock metal roofing, it comes standard in 18 inches wide. So you're gonna get 18 inches of coverage per panel. And we like to roll striations into the snap lock because it reduces the oil canning and I think it's a good pan condition that goes with this snap lock metal. Now we can roll form this in different widths to, to meet different specs, but it, 18 inches fits out really good with the way that the coil is sold. So we roll form the 18 inch wide panel out of the 24 inch coil and the 24s come out of a 48 inch master, so there's no way. So that's, that's about the best way to get the snap lock is in an 18 inch wide. It, it's the, the most overall efficient way, so that's why it's 18 inches wide. All right guys, so where should the snap lock metal be used? Well, it can really be used in a residential or commercial setting. It's gonna, it's gonna meet or exceed the specs on, on commercial jobs, but looks great on a house. But there are really several conditions, about three conditions that we recommend that you, that you follow when, when thinking about the snap lock. For one would be your pitch. Uh, I would stay with a 312 or above for the snap lock. It's not a water tight panel, it's a water shedding panel. Just the, the, the snap lock. Uh, it's not a mechanical seam, so 312 or above is, is ideal. Uh, the, the second condition I would say is you, you wanna use this panel over a solid, de a solid deck, so like a solid plywood deck uh, would be best. And then we like to use it over high temperature ice and water. So I always recommend before you're doing any standing seam job to don't skimp on the underlayment put out a high temperature ice and water, a peel and stick, and just peel and stick the whole structure. And that's really, that's really we find the best way to do it with the snap lock and, and with any standing seam. 
All right guys, the snap lock is a great panel. And it's definitely worth thinking about for your next metal roof project. You can't go wrong with it. It looks great. It'll add value to your home or your business and it'll keep your structure dry for the long term. Thanks for watching. We'll see you on the next one.